this place. But... but I died. I remember how the halberd pierced my heart. That's right, I even have a scar. Is it afterlife? Dad... Rena? Rena! Where are you? Answer me! The tower. Rena, I'm coming for you! Dad! Rena, where are you? I'm coming for you! Rina, are you there? The Keepers. Trust them. Looks like the only way is through this portal. Who are you? Where is my daughter? Hello, Arx. I've been waiting for you. My name is Siva, and I am the commander of this squad of Keepers of Order. As for your daughter, she's safe. But I'm afraid you won't be able to see her for some time. What are you talking about? As you have already guessed, we are in the afterlife. Specifically in the realm of chaos. Your daughter's soul would normally go to the Realm of God, but it has been attracted and trapped by the Tower of Chaos, next to which we are now. You happen to have traits of a Conqueror, the only kind of Order Keeper capable of exploring the Tower. That's why I brought you to our quarters. I have an offer for you. Join the Keepers of Order and destroy the Tower of Chaos that is holding your daughter prisoner. As part of our cooperation, I and the other Keepers will lend you our powers. You probably feel that you have lost your former power from the Realm of Life. Yes, I sensed it earlier in the Tower. Fortunately, I still have the ability to sense lies. At least, I know you're not trying to trick me. So be it. Let's make a deal. I will do everything in my power to save my daughter. Excellent. Then take this magical journal. It contains useful information, and it will record your thoughts. Go back to the tower. We should be able to communicate there by now. It looks like our connection is stable. I don't sense any enemies nearby. Look for another portal. So, this is how I destroy the tower? By looking for portals? To destroy it, you must first get to it. You are now merely in its vestibule. That voice I heard, was it really my daughter? It's possible. Your bond allowed you to enter the tower, even though you had no conqueror training whatsoever. Ox, look. These resources will be very useful to us in the quarters. Be sure to take them with you. Some resources are hidden. Uh, this building in front of me looks useful. Yes. It's one of those storages. Search it. You will surely find something useful. Indeed, I found more resources. How did Rena's soul end up here? When a person dies, their soul leaves the realm of life, and usually goes to the realm of God. Between them is the realm of chaos, in which we currently find ourselves. Human souls imbued with evil during their lifetime dissolve into the realm of chaos. The powerful ones, however, can begin to attract others. 
both good and bad. The attracted souls are trapped and form a structure called a Tower of Chaos. Our task, as Keepers of Order, is to destroy such towers. So there are more of them. Towers as well as Keepers. The Realm of Chaos surpasses the depiction of the world you knew in your life. Great. We're getting closer to the entrance. I'll take you back to our quarters now. We must prepare for the upcoming battles with the enslaved. With whom? You'll meet them soon enough, and you better be prepared. The easier part is over. From now on, to get closer to the core, you will have to defeat the enslaved. They are incarnations of the fallen warriors' trapped souls. The tower uses them to defend itself against intruders. I will lend you my powers of control and summoning, so that you can create your own army. The creatures you will be able to summon come from four aspects. You will need a suitable building to summon and strengthen the creature. With the energy collected so far, our architect can make all the buildings of one aspect for you. For the others, you'll have to collect creation cubes. You've already collected some of them in the tower. Buildings of which aspect should our architect create for you? Each aspect grants you special buffs, but only one of them can be active. If you would like to change your active aspect, talk to me about it before heading to the tower. Although, unless you have enough buildings to strengthen other aspects, changing the active path is not the best idea. In those creatures who are supposed to fight on my side, will I only be able to use those from the aspect I've selected? Regardless of the aspect, you can summon all the creatures assigned to specific buildings, as long as you have them. Ideally, you should test your army inside the tower yourself. The enslaved are already here. At the entrance to the tower, you can summon a group of units that will fight on your side. Choose the creatures that seem most appropriate to you. Interesting choice. Let them serve you well. It's time to test the strength of the Fallen Warriors. What's happening? Am I still at the tower? Don't be concerned. I've created an isolated area. It serves as a battlefield. If you had a fight in the open, the tower would detect you much sooner. Somehow, they don't attack me. They cannot. My barrier prevents them from doing so. You have time to properly prepare for the fight. When you're ready, I'll lower the barrier. <laughs> 